how, how you pronounce this? Hellwig? Hell, uh-huh. Hellwig. Hell, like hell in a wig. Hell uh-huh. in a wig. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Um, thank you for reaching no out problem. to me. Uh, I appreciate it. I, I sent you some uh-huh. um, sent you some questions via uh-huh. email, um, and uh, I'm glad that you called me to go over go over the questions. Um, problem. So are are you guys like a a regional company uh, over the road? No, we're, uh, yeah, we're just over the road. Uh, and I answered those questions for you and send them back. But we're out three weeks and you're home three days, so everything is over the road. Oh, okay. So out so out three home uh, out three home three. Yeah. No, we don't go to like the West Coast at all. We don't do all forty eight states. We go as far west as Denver. So it's going to be Denver, Colorado, all the way over to the northeast is where we run. All right. Um, all right. So let's. Uh, I guess I could start at the top because, of course, I couldn't get the uh, get a chance to read them while I'm driving. But uh, <laughs> but I remember them. <laughs> so um, can you tell me what the what the what, you know? Can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys have to offer? Of course, we are um, a family-owned and operated company. Uh, we're based out of Terrell, Texas, which is literally about maybe 20 miles just east of Dallas, to give you an idea. Mm-hmm. Um, this is our one and only terminal, so we do let drivers take their trucks home with them uh, for home time. So that's where you take your truck. Um, we have a little bit over 300 trucks in our fleet, I believe about 350. So we're not tiny. We're not huge. Just get number to know the drivers. Okay. Um, we are reefer. We haul frozen foods, produce, and meats cross country. Um, as a solo driver with our company, we do start you off at $0.55 cents per mile, which is loaded or empty, and you average about 2,800 to 3,000 miles every week. Now you, and that's kind of like the basic. Now, mm-hmm. you, now you mentioned Reefer um, and uh-huh. the products that you guys, the products that you guys run. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume Walmart, Tyson, to name a few. Exactly. Pilgrim's Pride, National Beef. Um, right. they, we go to we're even though we're reefer, we're primarily meat haulers. We go to a lot of meat packing plants. We go to grocery warehouses as well, but we do go to a lot of meat packing plants. How is the detention time there? It's going to be after two hours of on time delivery. It's fifteen dollars an hour. Now you mentioned on time delivery. Okay, so let me let me throw this caveat at you: okay. Is that on time delivery? inside checking in at the time or is that on time delivery getting to the place and say yes, like you're in the, it's in the, in the line getting, yes getting to the place because we can pull it up gps to show that you were there and that's what they look at oh, okay because some companies try to try to shortcut the driver like well he wasn't in the office at the time that he's supposed to be here and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm here on the property. I checked in. I... Yes, but let, let me double check that for you, Sean. Hold on. I want to lie to you. Hold on, sweetie. Sean? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just lied to you, sweetheart. I wanted to double check with my detention lady. Mm. And she said, actually, when you check in is mm. when the, that on-time delivery starts. So mm-hmm. I'm glad I clarified that. Yeah. yeah. See, so t- that's why I said some people, uh, some companies like to shortcut mm-hmm. a driver because, like, when we actually get there, mm-hmm. you know, it could be the time that we actually get there. But and that's why I've heard of talk to drivers, too, about them. They can put up on the GPS. But she said the customer, when you check in at time stamp, is mm-hmm. what they do. And they is won't pay what the up. customer, yep, is what the customer exactly. go by. Exactly. That's and what that, she just told me. So. And that, and that kind of sucks, considering the fact that yeah. you could be stuck in the line. And I think... Uh, and I those lines are brutal. Yeah, and I, I think, I, you know, I, I, I just think, well... I just think that that's that's a way of 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 companies like that uh, try to get over on drivers and not paying them their detention pay. So, but uh, but there is detention pay after two hours, yeah. of course. Exactly, and oh. it's fifteen dollars an hour. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. How much? Uh, how much experience do do you guys require? A six months of OTR is required. All right, so you guys. Uh, so with with that said, 
how much is how much is the pay uh, versus someone with six months to uh, maybe less? I'll, I'll rephrase that: less than five years uh, versus somebody that got five years or more. What's the pay? It's actually the same rate of pay. Uh, mm-hmm. If you have ten years, six months, it's the same rate of pay, which is fifty-five cents to start. Oh, okay. All right. So during orientation time, uh, you know, I pull in the application, I get a, uh, I get approved. I come up there to orient or come down there to orientation. How would you guys get me down there? Is the pre-employment um, drug test is uh, urine or hair follicle, and am I solo in the hotel? Yeah, we fly everybody out here to orientation, which is a four a four day orientation here in Texas. Mm-hmm. You uh, get your own private room at the Marriott Hotel, so you don't have to share. Uh, we do drug tests, physical, and road tests here, and you will do your analysis with our company doctor, and um, and you do get paid a fifteen hundred dollars sign on bonus as well. Oh, okay, awesome. Um, so for 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 drivers that already have their DOT physical card. They they got to take they got to take another physical coming on with you guys. Another, exactly. We want everyone to be uniform, so everybody goes to our company doctor uh, to do a new physical. Okay. Now, what about now? That's coming in. What what mm-hmm. about what what about people like myself that has my own doctor? Um, after you know the goal for you know the goal for the re up on my on my DOT, I just go to my doctor. Is is that okay? Now, if you're here and your physical uh, expires or you need to get a new one, everything would be through our company doctor as long as you were, you know, here with our company. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Now, you mentioned uh, you mentioned home time earlier as being th- uh, as being three on and three off. But do you guys Correct. have any have any regional runs? We do not. Uh, everything is just basically considered over the road. The only thing we have is close to regional you would have to live here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, mm-hmm. and it's where they're out seven days and home for two days. But it's only just for the drivers that live in this area that can do that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, as far as the equipment that you guys uh, run, what are the equipment and what what are they governed at? These are the uh, Freightliner Cascadia trucks. Uh, they're no more than about I would say three years old. Uh, we are fully automatic, so all of our fleets are automatic. As of today, we're governed at uh, 65, but starting November 1st, we're bumping it up to 68. Oh, okay. Okay, 68. Awesome. All right, so what about uh, what about driver-facing cameras? Yeah, we do have those as well. Now, with our cameras, we give you guys a code to turn it off on your personal time. When you shut down for the day, when you take breaks, you put your code in, and you manually turn it off. But all the trucks do have the forward-facing cameras. Interesting. Okay. Uh, wow. So we. So, but the. But of course, the camp. We 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 can't and drive without the camera being on, right? No, it's no, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sir. This is. Uh, no, it's not recording, Sean. It's not recording twenty four seven. Just you know, on the critical event moments is when it records your accidents, a heart stopping, you know, things like that. You yeah. know, that's when it'll record. Um, it'll go back like 10 seconds before that event happened and 10 seconds after. Uh, but outside of that, it's not recording. It's just streaming and it's on. Gotcha. All right. What about uh, what about now? Now, do you guys do any Northeast uh, we runs? We do a lot of Northeast. Okay. Yeah, we go uh, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maine, Maryland. Uh. And we do have a no-force New York City you don't have to go to the city if you don't want to. Mm. If you choose to go to New York City, then they will pay you an additional seventy five dollars if you decide to go to New York City. Now what so about what what about it, what, what about an additional Northeast pay or I mean on top? I mean what about an No, they don't no, they don't have an additional Northeast pay uh, pay because a lot of our freight is up there anyway and so we're always in and out of the Northeast. Ugh. Nasty. You don't like the Northeast, no, Sean? No, I can't mess with the uh-huh. Northeast, man. Mm-mm. Can't work. Nah, nah. Now, we you, do go there quite a bit, sweetie. Nah, I, I got you. I got you. But, nah, I can't, I can't do the Northeast. Uh, <laughs> you the one that's you, not me, right? <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> uh, back to the trucks. You did mention that we could take uh, we could take the trucks home. Um, yeah. If I, have, if, if I have somewhere for the, for the trailer, uh, to store the trailer, 
uh, would I be able to uh, PC to my house the tractor? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that was the problem. All right. Uh, you did mention that there is a sign-on bonus. How much? Yeah. It's uh, 1500 How it's is it? paid pay out um, within two months. You're going to get the whole fifteen. Mm-hmm. Your first scan trip, you get $1,000. Mm-hmm. In 30 days, you get 250 And then in 60 days, you get the other 250 All right. Awesome. Now, being that you mentioned that there is a sign-on bonus, how do, uh-huh. you, how, how do you guys how do you guys maintain your uh, retain your drivers? Like, I know this, you know, I, this is trucking. Uh, <laughs> of course, I talked to a few drivers that drove, you know, for the company and a few drivers that got their own opinions about the company. But uh, yeah. for the drivers that you have, there now and the drivers that you and the drivers like myself that's uh coming in how would you retain me what we normally do with the drivers we got enough freight for everybody that wants to work is one thing um if you're a good hard runner the miles are you know average 2800 to three but the good runners you know they get out there and get it they can get over 3,000 miles consistently mm-hmm. um the slackers you know every company got the slackers the hard of runners course. so long as you're here and you're working, you're going to get miles, you're going to get paid. Um, my drivers that are um, making a rule of thumb to get in the door early, 24 mm-hmm. hours before an appointment time, mm-hmm. then you do get a $100 bonus every single time on that. Mm-hmm. Um, they just try to take away a, a, as much of the stress as we can, even when it comes to parking and shutting down. Um, the owner of the company is a former driver, so he knows all this ins and outs. We will reimburse you. If you just want to pay ahead parking, so you don't have to spend hours looking for a parking oh, okay. spot. So they will reimburse you um, uh, your parking. You just pay ahead parking, transload in, and we'll take care of it for you. Um, if you want to be out longer than three weeks, you can. Uh, mm-hmm. We still can do that one day off for each week out. Now, how we calculate your home time, the day that you get home is not counted as your first day off. Mm-hmm. We'll wait for the following day and start counting three days off from there. So that's one thing the drivers like about that. Um, and you can even sell some of your home time days if you don't want to use them. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll buy them back $100 a day uh, and up three days max. Whoop. And then just pay you to, I know, pay you to get, you know, get you no, out No, I don't, I don't think I want to do that. My home time is important. <laughs> well, that's what the drivers do. That's what the drivers do because most oh, okay. companies, you know, these drivers get out there. They don't want to use their home time. They don't get compensated for it. They just right. keep rolling. So the ones that do, you know, they get compensated that way as well. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Uh, that's so what's anything up. we can try to, you know, try to help the drivers with, you know, to help them out here, we we definitely would try to do it. Well, hey, you you is you have been the best, uh, uh, one of the Aww. best uh, recruiters <laughs> that I've talked to. Easy going, straightforward, pretty much. Um, I I'm uh you know I'm I'm also in a Facebook group called CDL Truck Careers and Lockout okay. Man Podcast. So what I would do, I would take this information that you have given me, and I will refer it back to the guys in the uh, truck in the trucking group. And uh, and uh, I will keep this information as well in my pocket. Unfortunately, yes, I'm not I'm not a fan of the Northeast, so that's you know, that probably might be a check that I would really have to look close at. But um, do do you guys do you guys uh, help drivers get their CDLs? No, we do not. Um, we don't have a training course or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And we used to have like a year experience. We wanted to have a year. And we went down to nine months, and then we finally went down to six months. And that was as comfortable as our insurance would go as low would be six months. But, yeah, yeah, we don't have a training or anything like that. Gotcha. What about what about felons? What's, what's, what's your position on felons? They just have to, if it's a felony, they it has to be at least seven years old. They can't currently be on probation or parole. Mm-hmm. Now, if it's like a violent, violent felony, murder, you know, something just horrible, it has to be at least 15 years old, and it'll be, you know, looked at as a full app, of course. Um, when they come to drug charges, they have to be 20 years old or older. Even if it's a misdemeanor or even if it's a felony, it has to be 20 years old or older. And um, and that's basically uh, on the criminal part, you know. They oh. just can't be on probation or parole. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, this is what help, uh-huh. help, 
Hell wig out of, out, of, out of Texas. I'm, 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 a, I'm a huge. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Texas. You know that will probably, you know, again that will probably be. Now the Northeast will be an X, but the Texas will be a check mark. So you know, I tell my driver, you the one in the truck, not me. So uh, yeah. Yes, I, sir. I definitely appreciate the time, man. Beautiful oh, conversation. Well, Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. You stay safe, huh? Call me or email if you have any other questions. No doubt. No doubt. I will. Thank oh. you. Okay. Bye-bye.